Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this Logitech MX Keys wireless keyboard. Alright, so as you can kind of see here, uh, this is a Mac and that is a PC and this is only one monitor. Uh, so my wife and I actually share a workspace here. She works here during the day and I work here every other time of the <laughs> week. Um, so we have to switch out our keyboard and mice. She has a wireless keyboard and stuff like that. But um, it's, there's always like an extra one around. Like that's where mine go and then hers go over here. Well, it'd be nice to not have to swap that. So what I got for her for her birthday is this guy. It's a Logitech keyboard. So this one actually says it'll support up to three computers or three devices um, where the Mac use, can use Bluetooth. This can connect to it via Bluetooth and then I'll use the little USB to connect to my PC using this little adapter. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. All right, so we got our pictures and details on the outside. Here showing that we got the perfect ski, keystroke using their scissor keys. Um, smart illumination, you got flow, and it tells you about the uh, mice that work re really well with this. Um, nothing especially crazy. Talks about how it is, here we go. Windows, Mac, Linux, I, uh, iOS and Android compatible. Compatible. Let's go ahead and break this guy open. There we go. And look at that. Talks about our easy switch, how to turn it on, the basic setup instructions here, and here is our keyboard wrapped in what seems like that uh, that stuffing paper that your mom puts in the get birthday bag. Another advertisement for their wireless mouse, and there it is, our new keyboard. We have rubber feet here. And then it does have, this whole thing is a battery, so it'll stick up a little bit there. Uses USB-C to recharge it. And then we have a power switch here. Oh, look at that, already turning on. Okay. And then we have our, our USB is in the box here, right underneath the keyboard. We'll go ahead and plug that guy in. See if there's anything else in this box here. So we have a USB-C to a USB charging cable here to be able to plug that into your computer to run power to it until it can charge. And uh, that's it. And a instruction manual. Oh, look at that, it popped up on my computer. You can't see the monitor right now. This is Logitech software. So let's go ahead and install. It's asking if I'm sure I want to install it. Yes, I do want Logitech to install the controller. All right, so once it's done installing, it'll ask you to log in to your Logitech account and um, we'll go ahead and uh, skip that today. But let's go ahead and see what happens next. We got our welcome to MX keys. It says backlighting and ambient lighting is adjusted here. We have our two buttons there to adjust that. It even pops up on my screen telling me what that's at. That's nice. All right, next. We show battery notif uh, notification. So this will light up when the battery is at 10%. And then you can just grab a, your USB-C cable and plug it in. I have a USB-C cable already by my computer just to charge my phone. So I can just plug that guy in to charge it up. We'll be good to go there. And then all of the keys on, on this top row, all of your F keys can be customized for shortcuts. And it talks about using our function button to be able to use any of the picture options on here. Oh, to switch between. 
Switch between your media and FN key anytime by pressing FN escape. Use the FN key freely. No need to hold FN. Okay, so if you hit FN and escape, it now locks out your F keys here to being F1, F2, F3. But if you hit FN and then escape, it unlocks it and now we can control all of the picture things that it is set up for it there. Next, we got our easy switch to control three different devices at one time. All right, and you're all set. So let's go ahead and see if we can switch over to our Mac over here. Oh, here we go. So on a Mac, I don't have a way to record the screen on this one, unfortunately, but uh, you'll go into your settings, search keyboard, and then um, it'll have, let's see here, it'll have a section that talks about your keyboard text, shortcuts, input sources, dictation, and things like that. At the very bottom, it'll say set up Bluetooth keyboard. So we'll go ahead and click on set up Bluetooth keyboard. So um, unfortunately the last video kind of cut off there because uh, so my wife's laptop is for work and her work has enabled um, a security setting on her MacBook that uh, basically it's a security protocol for Mac to uh, keyboards that is an encrypted connection. Um, so the Bluetooth connection between these, it needs to be a Mac, Mac specific keyboard. So the uh, Apple Magic keyboard has that. However, this is the Logitech keyboard. So we do have to connect it via USB to her Mac. And it does work great. Um, and then to switch back and forth, we just hit the two or the one. The one is for her MacBook. The two is for my desktop here. And my desktop does have Bluetooth. So I was able to connect to it via Bluetooth and now we can go in here and it's been typing great. It is definitely different from my previous keyboard. My previous keyboard was the Logitech G610. So that one um, has mechanical keys that are actually reasonably quiet for a mechanical keyboard. Very tactile and it's kind of pleasing to use. Um, and I kind of got used to that where the keys are a little bit raised up and so I find myself actually hitting the row above um, or a row forward on here. So if it's A S D F, I hit Q W E R. Um, <laughs> so I'm hitting the row above because that's where they physically are vertically. And so I just move my hands in until they hit it. But then I have to like pull my fingers down until I can feel that home. Um, what do you call that little tab on the F and J key where you know you're on the home row there? Um, so I do have to pull my fingers down. It is taking a little bit of getting used to. Um, and then this top row here, every once in a while I did use some of these F keys and um, our other keys over here and it kind of throws me off. So uh, instinctively I'll just reach up and tap, go to tap the minus key on the uh, number pad here. And right above it is the lock button. And if you tap that, <laughs> it locks your computer. Um, but, uh, Honestly, not a big deal. Um, it doesn't have the volume rocker anymore. I really liked that, but I found I used it less and less, especially now that I'm married. Um, I share a space with my wife, so I do have to put on my headphones more often to be able to listen to videos as I'm editing them or play video games, things like that. And so I control the volume from that rather than from the keyboard. But when I do have it unplugged, it still works fine. We have our volume buttons right here on the top as well as our media controls brightness settings, which is automatically set to an auto brightness, but you can adjust it if you'd like. Um, and it even shows, these, this is a really nice keyboard because it shows things up on the screen where my previous keyboard did not. Um, so I, I like it. It's, it, it's good. I'm happy with it. It, I don't have anything bad to say about it other than it's short, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. My wife, I got it for her for her birthday because it's similar to the one she had. It's low profile and these switches, I got to tell you. So they're a scissor switch rather than a mechanical switch or a um, gel switch. And it's another kind of satisfying to push down this soft key that has just a little bit of click to it. It's like pushing a really nice button. Um, 
and they're, each button is a little bit divoted out, kind of like those little holes, uh, divots in a golf ball. And I kind of have grown to like it. I, I, I really like this keyboard and it's got the Apple and the um, PC, uh, what do you call that? Buttons? I'll bring it closer so you can see here. Um, so you got command here as well as alt. You got your start button as well as the options button. So you have the full set of things. You got your function key here, and if you hold function and then press exit at the same time, it'll switch to operating these F keys here at the top as just standard F style keys. But if you hit function exit again, it'll go to your media controls that they are now. So you have your brightness for your screen, you have closed window, your brightness for the keyboard, media playback, so you got rewind, play, pause, fast forward, uh, mute, volume down, volume up. And then here, we can select between our keyboards. Once you have it set up, all you have to do is press it once and it'll switch to the other one. Press the other one once and it switches to the other key computer seamlessly. It's fantastic. It saves space on our already tiny workspace. It, I, I thought it was so big when I first made this desk. It's great for one person. It's a pretty big desk for one person. But now that I'm sharing it with another person, where there's two computers on here, it really made a difference having just one keyboard now. Um, you have a calculator button, camera. I think that's to screenshot or bring up a webcam. I don't have a webcam on this PC, so nothing will probably happen. Um, you got your screenshot and your lock button again. Um, everything else is pretty standard otherwise. Um, it's a really nice keyboard though. This guy, I'm, I'm happy with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy on Amazon. So I was very hesitant getting this in the first place because this is an investment of a keyboard. Um, $119 for this guy here. Um, <laughs> that is a serious over investment, but it does have overnight shipping, so I ordered it on a Friday night. It came Saturday afternoon. Very quick shipping with Amazon. That's, that's honestly one of the best things. If you want to sign up for Amazon Prime, links will be down, in, down below. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so links to anything here that you see that you want to get um, will be in the description down below. And those do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. Uh, back to here on Amazon though. Um, it can connect via Bluetooth, via a another, you can buy another Logitech uh, unifying USB receiver, as well as uh, the USB that came with it. Um, so you have three connection methods. It, uh, it's, it's just a fantastic keyboard. It's rechargeable using USB-C. The nice thing is I have USB-C that charges my mouse. So if I need to, I just unplug my mouse, plug this guy in, and it's now charging. Um, so it's a rechargeable, so you don't have to buy batteries. Um, let's see, what other awesome things? Let's go ahead and compare the prices here. See what our price history uh, has been. So we are on a high price right now, $119. Uh, but the average price is $99, it looks like, and then comes back up to the $119, and then it'll go on sale. And then the deep sales, look at that, $62.98. If you can get this on your drop list, go to Honey, sign up for the Honey Browser. Down below in the description, there will be a Honey, there will be a Honey Browser extension. You can get coupon codes as well as this, where you can add things to your drop list and say, hey, let me know when this is on sale, $62.98. That is literally 50% off of a $120 keyboard. This is probably the nicest keyboard I've ever held in my hands. And I feel a little nervous shaking it like that. <laughs> $62.98, that is fantastic. Uh, but then standard price, sale price is $99.87. Uh, looks like we had a short sale here for $100, but it's up to $119 right now. I am not gonna complain. This is a beautiful keyboard. Uh, it's exactly what she needed and wanted for her birthday, so that will make my wife happy and you know all the sayings, happy wife, happy life, things like that. I, I just love making my wife happy, so hopefully you do too, if that's something that she needs, you know? She needs a good keyboard. There you go. <laughs> it's a solid keyboard. Logitech has been doing keyboards for years and they make a reliable product. This. You can definitely tell the difference. My my previous keyboard, the mechanical USB keyboard, 
Yes, it's a gaming keyboard that's a, like a discount where it doesn't do RGB, but it still runs fantastic. I love it. This keyboard here, it's, it's, you can tell the difference. It's been leveled up, you know. We have a solid design. It feels like some solid metal here. We got this rechargeable battery on the back here. However, it is not adjustable for our angle. So this is the only angle it offers, which is low profile and for 90% of people will be just fine, including me. I don't know what else to say. I, I love it. I'm excited to have it here. And I hope if this is something that you're curious about and on the fence about, I have swayed you because it is a great thing. It is an investment. It'll be good for years to come because Logitech, because Logitech is a name that is known for quality. So, or at least in this realm, you know, I, I don't know that I would buy a Logitech hard drive because I've never seen one from them, but a Logitech keyboard, 100%. Like I said, links will be down in the description below so you can get your Amazon Prime that's 100% worth it. If you're buying things on Amazon or anywhere as often as I am, it pays for itself. You also get all of the Prime Video and all of the other great benefits that come with having Amazon Prime, as well as like if you sign up for like the no rush shipping, they give you a dollar, they give you a dollar to spend on movies or things like that that you rent on Amazon, which is awesome electronic purchases or digital purchases as well. You can also sign up for Honey using the Honey browser extension can help you save money. You can earn gold, Honey Gold. You can use your Honey Gold to buy Amazon gift cards, eBay gift cards, things like that. So basically it's like rewards points for your on your credit card, but you're already getting the rewards points on your credit card because you, you, you purchased it on your credit. Anyway, I am drawing out way too long. Use the links below to help support this channel. It means a lot to me to help to be able to make more videos. Uh, that's going to do it for today. If you have additional questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to find links for these things, it's in the description of this YouTube video. And uh, leave any questions you have about this keyboard or anything else in my setup in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Share this with a friend if they're curious or looking for a good Good keyboard. This one is one I recommend and share this video with them and maybe we can both sway them. And we'll see you guys in the next video.